I'm Matt, and this is my sister visiting from America, Becky, and this is the Ningbo Focus. Life in China is not like any life I've ever lived. I've been here for five years now, and my family has not come to visit until just now. This is my sister, Rebecca, and this is her daughter, Victoria. And they have come all the way from the United States to visit me. Now, it got me thinking, what do you do with somebody who's never been out of America? You've never been out of America. No, no, so what do you do to show them what Ningbo is really like? So I've put together an amazing day that can give them a little taste of a lot of different things about Chinese food, Ningbo food, Ningbo culture, Ningbo people, and even a little bit of modern Ningbo. So we're gonna take a look around some very, very interesting Ningbo spots. And we're starting right here in Yinzhou Park. When I first said that I was gonna move to China, what did you think? I thought, wow, that's very exotic. Walking my sister and her daughter around my home is a surreal experience. <laughs> to them, I've been on the other side of the world, out of touch in a world that's so strange and foreign to them. And trying to share five years of experience in one day is going to be a real welcome challenge. They seem comfortable here, and that's a relief. It's one of the things I like about Ningbo, it's a place with certain comforts, but it also has its fair share of unique surprises as well. You ever seen one of these machines? No, I have not. <laughs> well, you'll see Ningbo knees every morning playing on these things. Are you getting hungry? No. <laughs> I'm not hungry. You're not hungry? Uh -huh. I think mom's hungry. I'm not. Well, we might okay, just go. You to got to it. Let's go. You don't know this place? No, what is this place? You know this place. This was in episode number one. Oh, Nan Tong that was a long time ago. Yeah, that was a long time ago. But I think this would be a really good place to get a quick breakfast and then continue our little tour of Wonderful. So. I'm, fun I'm hungry. You're hungry? I'm hungry. She's yeah. very hungry. Now, in America, they call it wonton soup, but here in Nantang Laojie, they call it hun tun. Hun tun. Yeah. So we're going to get some hun tun soup. I explained to my friends about the differences between American Chinese and actual Chinese food. Hun tun, or wonton soup, is a perfect example. We have the same soup in the USA, but the flavor the style and the ambiance is just a little different. It's important to show and share these differences in order to give your guests or family a true Ningbo experience. So we're gonna have some breakfast and then we're gonna move on to the next leg of our journey. I think we're gonna make some dresses. For me? Yeah, yeah for you. All right, now Ningbo is a textile city. They make a lot of clothing, so I thought it would be really cool because she's looking to get some gifts and some things that she can take home to show that she's visited Ningbo. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have a chi pao made custom for her and Victoria. Do you know what a chi pao is? I don't, I don't. Well, this place is uh, specific for making really cool custom chi pao. I might even get a tang juan for myself while we get fitted. Let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you know what? I was just thinking, Becky needs to know some Ningbo Hua to tell people that she's a foreigner and where she's from. So why don't we do a little Ningbo Hua while our cheap house are getting made? <laughs> All right, Becky, you've been here in Ningbo, and I think it's important that you tell people that you're a foreigner. Okay. In Ningbo Hua, you say, 
Ala z nagonin. Ala z nagonin. <laughs> Ala is like saying I, z is is, and nagonin is foreign person. Uh, guo ning can be broken down as well. Guo is country, ning is person. So you can also formulate American person by saying my guoning. My guoning. My is beautiful because we come from a pretty beautiful country, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if I was to ask you, now zi so di fo ning, you say my guoning. Perfect. Oh, no, no, no. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Yeah. This one's softer. Yeah. Softer. Okay. This one's that soft. Well, you can pick whatever material you want, okay. and they can put it in whatever form you want. There is no piece of clothing that is more symbolic of Chinese culture, in my mind, than a chi pao. For a Westerner, a chi pao that was handmade for them in China represents the perfect, sophisticated gift to take back with them to the other side of the world. All right, so they want to buy some more gifts. Their cheap pals are going to take a couple of days, but they're all measured up, and they picked the, the colors they wanted. And so we're going to go pick some really cool Chinese gifts in the market. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. It's really tough to buy gifts for friends when you go back from China because almost everything that you buy in the world is made in China. In China. But some gifts are actually really cool, the authentic cultural gifts. And you can find some of them right here in Gulo. Gift buying for friends and family back home can be a headache. My recommendation, stick with handmade crafts or symbolic items. Wooden hairpins, Chinese fans, crafts, carvings, or small statues. Even religious or cultural relics can make the perfect gift to loved ones back home. My thoughts? The more exotic, the better. This would be fun for a game. Don't mess with me. All right, let's keep going. Okay, Beck, you've done a little shopping, you've bought some gifts, and I have picked out a really cool place. I think one of the coolest places for lunch in all of Ningbo. It's called the Modern Restaurant, okay. and it's modeled after traditional Shanghai courtyard style eating okay. from ancient China. Sounds so let's good. go eat. Sounds good. The Feast Modern Restaurant is a perfect place to introduce friends and family from abroad to the flavors of Ningbo. Located in a 200-year-old Qing Dynasty merchant house along the river, you can taste flavors of Ningbo as well as the rest of China. And the preparation of the food is impeccable. There you go. Hey. Mm. Mm. Good. Good girl. <gasps> the ear works, huh? Wow. In America, eating is mostly individualistic, with each person getting only one plate to eat from. But here, you can keep the feast rolling and sample as many dishes at one time as you want. This is one of my favorites. For me, it's a chance to give my sister and Victoria an opportunity to sample some of the flavors that I've grown to love so much. It's funny, I think I'm having more fun watching them enjoy the food than actually eating it myself. Wow, that was a fantastic meal. What did you think of that? Probably the most amazing meal I've ever had in all of my life. No joke. That is a that is a great testament for Modern Restaurant. I think we've had a pretty fulfilling day. We have. 
We've yeah. done a little shopping. Mm -hmm. We've gone to a park in the morning and saw some activities. Made dresses. Made some fantastic dresses. Ate some fantastic food. Mm -hmm. But now we're going to do something a little bit more cultural. We're going to go and take a look at one of the temples in town so that you okay. can get a good, nice, rounded look of what Ningbo has to offer. That sounds amazing. Let's go. Okay. Victoria, are you ready to go? Wait, 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 wait. Are wait. you ready? Okay. okay. She's gonna she's gonna climb and then we're gonna drive. Okay, let's go. Ready? Come on. You cannot visit Ningbo and consider it a well-rounded trip unless you visit one of the many temples in the area. So I took my sister and Victoria to the King Ahsoka Temple in Yinzhou, or in Chinese, Ayu Wang Si. It was an extremely hot day, which made the trees and the shade that much more inviting. The Ahsoka Temple is very old, with a history dating back over 1700 years. It's one of the most important and largest Buddhist temples in the area, helping to enhance the popularity of a religion in China. Many pools dot the large grounds and are filled with hungry fish and turtles, and Victoria had a great time feeding and watching them. In America, we don't have the history needed to produce such beautiful cultural architecture. So sharing this with my family made a fantastic end to a fulfilling trip around Ningbo. Although we only got to break the surface of what my life is like here, I think the day we spent together brought my family a little closer to the amazing life that I live here in Ningbo.